Hi, my name's Keith. In this video, I'm going to be giving a demo of my MIDI to CV arpeggiator module. It's the uh, module version of my retrofit board, and for the module I added an LCD screen, uh, configuration buttons, and all the I.O. jacks. Uh, in addition to the MIDI to CV functionality, it also has a built-in arpeggiator, a mini step sequencer, a built-in LFO. It also has an alternate tuning microtonal mode, even though I won't get to that in this video. That'll have to wait for a second one. Uh, so there's lots of stuff to go over. Let's get right to the demo. The core functionality is what you would expect. It's a MIDI to CV converter. Uh, it has MIDI in, and the outputs are CV, gate, and an aux channel. The aux uh, channel right now, the way I have it patched up, is mapped to the filter cutoff uh, on my modular. Uh, and I should also mention that the CV output, in addition to the one volt per octave standard, which is the uh, Eurorack standard, uh, can also be configured to 1.2 volts per octave, which is the Electrocomp and also the Buchla standard, or 0.32 volts per octave, which is the EMS standard, and also hertz per volt. And as you probably can see here in my demo, I'm going to, going to be using my MS20 Mini and using the CV inputs on that. So I have the module set up in the hertz per volt mode right now. But other than that, uh, it's just uh, exactly like you would hook it up to uh, Eurorack modules. Uh, another thing I should mention is the LFO, and you can hear it modulating the pitch here, is built into the module, so you don't need an outboard LFO. The bottom line of the display uh, shows the current status of the LFO. Uh, the try there is telling you that it's a triangle uh, wave shape, and uh, I'll slow it down, and I'll cycle through some of the shapes. So there's a triangle, a sawtooth, uh, inverted saw, a square, and I've got it set up right now so that it's uh, octave jumps. Uh, 40, 30, 20, and 10 uh, percent uh, pulse waves, so I'll speed it up, and random. So that's kind of like having a built-in sample and hold. And in addition to the pitch, uh, you can uh, modulate the filter. So I'll put it back to, tri to the triangle width. And this number here is an indication of the LFO speed, and there's also an animated loop. So you can uh, uh, get a feel uh, for when the, the uh, LFO is going to loop back around itself. And this F here stands for uh, free running, and K stands for key sync. And again, I just have a knob here, and I've just mapped it to that function. So what that means in the key sync mode, here I'll put it back to pitch, and make it kind of slow. In key sync mode, it means it restarts the LFO at the same point in the wave shape, a triangle wave shape in this case, every time you push a key. So it's it's always on the upswing here. If I put it in the free run mode, it doesn't matter how often I press the key, it just goes into free run mode. Usually that's useful if you've got, uh, if you're uh, using it to modulate the filter and you're playing some sort of you know, long melodic line and you want a, a, a free flowing LFO. And there's a trick I will show you uh, with one other adjustment, which is the phase control, which will allow you to pick uh, where in the wave shape it starts. So you don't always have to start at the beginning. Uh, there's a trick here when you have it modulating the filter. You can use the LFO kind of like an extra envelope because typically um, to get that punchy bass sound, you know, that monosynth type sound, usually have an envelope that's modulating the filter to close it right after you push the key. So to do that, I'll, I'll slow it way down. I'll put it in key sync mode. So you can hear how it's closing the filter, but it's not closing it fast enough. So what I'll do is I'll change the phase until I'm right in the point of the uh, triangle wave where it's just closing off. So. That's about the sweet spot right there. 
So that's using the LFO kind of like a, an extra envelope. Okay, now onto the fun stuff, the arpeggiator. Uh, so the upper line is showing you the status of the arpeggiator. The one up means it's in one octave repeat mode and the pattern, uh, the arpeggiator pattern right now is up. Uh, so I've mapped a button on my MIDI controller to turn on the arpeggiator. And now you can see the arpeggiator loop animation is running. And then you just uh, uh, press the chord down. And everything is in real time. You can change the filter. You can change the speed. There's a gate control. And then one thing I didn't mention, there's also portamento. Portamento is also active uh, during just when you're just playing it, not with the arpeggiator running. And also, the buttons on the front of the module are usually used uh, for configuring some of, some of the low-level uh, parameters. But in uh, the arpeggiator mode, um, they can be used live to change the number of octaves and also the pattern. So I'll change it to uh, two octaves here. So it's an up pattern. I'll slow it down a bit. filter a bit. So the uh, right now we have up, there's also down, up and then down, down and then up, up down repeat. What that does is it's like up down only it repeats the note at the end. You can hear it repeats the first and the last note. There's down up repeat, which is just the inverse of that, and random. What random does is it uh, will take, uh, it'll pick any random octave and any random note of the notes that you're playing down, and that's how it chooses uh, the the note to play. Uh, there's another mode. The next mode is the sequencer mode, and I'll here I'll put it back to one octave. So this is a built-in 32 step step sequencer um, and it records in addition to pitch information it will record either the MIDI velocity or uh, one of the CC's and I have it currently mapped to record the uh, aux uh, channel the aux CC which um, is uh, 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 currently uh, patched up to the filter cutoff so I've mapped another button on my uh, MIDI controller to start the recording sequence so I'll press that and you'll see it says note zero, which means I haven't entered any notes. And now you just start entering notes, step sequencer fashion. Uh, to enter a rest, you can't see it, but there's a sustain pedal and I just have to hit the sustain pedal. So I'll twiddle the filter knob and I'll enter some notes. So. And now I'll go into play mode and uh, as soon as I press a key down, it will repeat the sequence transposed to whatever key I'm pressing down. So we'll go over. And you can see it's also recorded the filter changes. And everything is still live. I can turn the portamento off. I'll turn the portamento on. Then you can change the gate. Change the speed. And I can change the number of octaves. It's playing in two different octaves. And of course, by just pressing a, a, a different keys, I can transpose everything all in real time. Also, there's a MIDI sync mode. So again, I've mapped one of the buttons on the controller here to turn the MIDI sync, sync mode on. And you'll see that dis the display changes slightly. So instead of just a number representing the speed, it shows which note or how many uh, beats are quantized to each step. So I'll change uh, the arpeggiator speed to 16. So that means that it will quantize to 16th notes. That's eighth note triplets, eighth notes, 4T means fourth quarter note triplets, quarter notes, etc., etc. The slowest you can go is four whole notes. And it goes all the way up till you get to 32 note triplets. And the LFO and the, uh, the arpeggiator or the sequencer can be synced or not synced independently, so they don't have to follow the same quantization. So I'll put it back to 16th notes, and uh, I'll hit start on my drum machine here, and you'll hear that it's uh, synced up. 
then I'll change in real time, I'll change it to uh, eighth notes. And I'll change it back to sixteenth notes. You may have noticed that this module has a MIDI out jack. What that allows you to do is take anything that's played live, including the arpeggiator output and the sequencer output, uh, and it'll be sent out MIDI to an external uh, sound module or a sequencer. I've uh, hooked up my trusty Yamaha FB01 FM sound module, connected it to the MIDI out, and now I'll play the same sequence that I recorded before, but this time uh, through this external MIDI module. So here we go. So that's the uh, Yamaha FM unit playing over MIDI. Nice uh, 1980s FM piano sound. And now I'll turn up the uh, MS-20 Mini. Everything out goes out in parallel. The CV gate and aux plus the MIDI out. Now I'll turn up the uh, drum machine. So that's about it for the basic functionality. I didn't even talk about the alternate tuning, microtonal mode, or any of the low-level configuration parameters, but that'll have to wait for another video. Thanks for watching.